Hi there, my name is Pierre from PP Production. Sorry for my English, but I'll do my best. I want to share with you a very basic tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro, specially made for Lawrence. How to make a rolling title next to a logo. It's very easy and can be done in a few minutes. Let's start with our three samples. The first one on a black background. The second one the logo on the white background and the third one we have a blue background. Let's have a look at the third one. It looks quite nice. So let's start with it. Here we have our new project. I choose for DVPAL. Don't forget to give the file a location and a name. OK. Here we have our project window. And in the project window we will import our logo. Go to File, Import, search for the logo. There it is. OK, open it and here you can see in the little window the logo. Pick up your logo left, and drag it into place in the timeline. I will scale this a bit. Extend the logo to about 10 seconds. You can see this here. Now, what you notice is that our logo is way too big, so we will have to make it a bit smaller. Go to Effect Controls. If you don't see this panel, we'll remove it. Go to Window, Effect Controls. Open the Motion Effect. Go to Scale and scale it down. Let's say to about 35 and this one looks OK. Now we have to position the logo on the right place. Just drag your logo wherever you want it. To be sure it's within the safety margins, click on this button and place your logo within the safety margins. Let's have a look. Looks quite nice. The following step is to make our title. Therefore, you can go immediately to Title, New Title, and choose Default Role. Or go to File, New, Title, give the title a name, and there we have our titling window. If you don't see the logo in there, just click the little box next to Show Video. Next thing to do is to adjust the options. We don't want a still, we want a roll. Start off and end off screen. OK. I will also change the font you see here. It's quite big. I prefer this one in the preset styles. This looks better. Pick up your type tool, click inside the window and start typing.
here we have our text of course you see it's a bit small let's go to font size and enlarge it quite a bit take your pen tool and adjust the placement let's say about here you can also enlarge your text and that's about it press ctrl s to save your title or exit here and exit here drag your title into place in video 2 extend it till the end and there you have it it's very easy you notice we have here our black background to place another background we will have to change the place of our title to video 3 move drag your logo to video 2 so we have place under the logo in video 1 still notice the background is still black because there is nothing in video 1 to change that go to file new color mat and choose a color you can choose white or any other color you want let's say we make it a nice blue one click OK give your color mat a name click OK pick up your color mat place it in video 1 extend it if you want instead of a color mat something else just select the color mat delete it and double click in your project window to import for instance our bubbles let's open this there we have our bubbles insert them on video 1 extend it and let's see if it works yes there we have it looks nice don't forget the red line means it has to be rendered so press enter for rendering the whole thing. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.